Hello everybody, watch the crack. Um, so my rear hub motor is after arriving from China, as I said previously, it's a 3000 watt rear hub motor. Um, it took quite a bit of time to get here actually. Uh, the, the suppliers will usually say to you, this, this is my case here in Ireland anyway, but the suppliers, suppliers will say to you it takes 10 to 14 days to arrive. And I presume what they mean is it'll take 10 to 14 working days to arrive. So that's about three weeks from a new order. It might took four weeks, so it took a full month. So. Uh, that's okay look look it is what it is I'm, I'm happy to have it in my last video and i'm sorry for repeating myself um if you're one of the 14 people that watched my last video thanks very much but um i i did want the gearing option on this bike so if you're getting a 3000 watt hub motor it seems that um you have two options you can have uh gearing like six seven speed on the back and the rear hub spacing required is 150 mil or you can have um your standard 135 mil so most bikes are 135 mil rear dropout and um that then gives you the only only an, a single speed so i didn't mind the single speed and i'm really glad i didn't know because that wheel guys weighs an absolute fortune i don't think i've picked up anything in, in, in definitely in my year cycling as, as this thing it's, it's a huge weight so i'm really glad that i'm not going to be stuck on the side of the road if something fails me if a fuse blows or i find myself on the side of the road I, I, I want to be able to cycle this home. So even having those um seven different selections, six different selections on the back that you can use to get lighter gearing is, is going to be worth everything to me. Um Yeah, so that's that's what I wanted. So I'm going to give you a quick look here at what it looks like and then discuss the torque plate options. So this is what the wheel looks like inside in the quick release. Okay, I hope you can see that okay there. So that's what it looks like as it comes through. So it's a lovely fit and i didn't have to do any foiling so it just fits perfectly so i'm really really happy with that okay so the the problem that i that i, that I had then was i'm just straighten you up a little bit now so the problem then that i had was um that the torque arm that they send it's this guy i didn't really show it a lot to you last time i know they're on 1000 watt systems 1500 2000 i've no experience at all so i i can't tell you um, but I, I, I definitely didn't want to just use this. So how this thing works is it's supposed to go in here like this. Now it's not, I'm not setting it up right. And then it comes up along here. And then you use one of these little, um, these little ties, these guys. And you're a cable tie and you, you clamp it onto your chain stay. Now I just don't think myself that that's going to be enough. I'm not, I, I wouldn't be happy with this guy for my bike. Well look, firstly there's a pivot point here. Okay, so there's your weak point straight away, and it's not. It doesn't feel like it's the beefiest piece piece of steel. I, I, I just, I just wouldn't feel happy having this. Now I was going to be. You could put two on each side, and and they actually sent me two fair play to them. But yeah, not, not, not. This isn't for me. So I made my own one. Okay, I made my own one out of a, a much chunkier piece of steel. So, so what I did, and uh, I know these things don't come across really well in video, so I'll bring you in a little bit here. So on my dropouts. There's actually a recess section here. So this is recessed all around here. Okay. So that gave me the option then to put a plate in. Now, I, I, I've i seen people do it without that recess. But what I was able to do was I was able to um, fill all this recess section here with molding putty. So that's just like a standard putty. You buy it in an arts and craft center and you put it on and it cures. It goes hard and it pulls off like a hard piece of rubber. So I was able to fill all this section here to the shape I wanted in around the recess here. And um, I took that off then and I and I and I uh, traced that out on a piece of steel and I just went cutting. Now it took me all day, guys. I mean it's fine. I had all day yesterday. All I have here is I, I have a I have a little mini grinder. I'm luckily I'm fortunate that I have a bench grinder with a with a, an abrasive of stone on it. So I was able to um so I was able to make this. So this is what I this is what I made. Now, there, look, you, can, you, you probably don't have to use molding putty. You could use, um, like, a, you can make it with, you could draw a template. Some people are great with 3D printers and measuring. I'm, I'll be used, I don't know. So I just wanted to mold mine out myself. Um, and a lot of leads will just make a blank here. Like, like I said, if you made it out of a strong piece of cardboard or you made it out of a, a little piece of ply that you could cut easily, you could take that to a machine shop and ask them to make this for you, you know? And, and I'm sure they would, and I, I can't see it would be too expensive. But I wanted to do mine yesterday. I had all day, so I, yeah, I kind of enjoyed playing around with it. So this is how it works. So this guy now, we go on here, and it fits in. It's a nice snug fit, right? 
and then luckily if you look behind i actually have two uh fixing points for like a rear carrier mud guards and so on these two little eyelets so i'm going to use those uh, i don't know if you'll have those in your bike obviously you might have to find another way but look i haven't so i'm going to use them so i'm going to fit these so it's a nice tight fit once it fits when it fits up i'll probably put a bit of um loctite medium loctite onto these because i don't want them loosening but either way, the, the, the real, really what's holding these in place is the bolt that will be going on here in a minute. I'll show you that. So I was watching online and a lot of lads say the pressures of these things, um, it's something to do with every action has an opposite but equal reaction. It's pushing back this way. When it's going forward, it's pushing the opposite direction. So there's a lot of strain and then you're braking. So I think this is what really holds it in place then is the axle bolt. These are, I was happy to find actually, these are quite beefy. These are a nice piece of kit. So that's it. So that's how that's how my 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 uh torque cam is gonna work. I'm not putting anything else on it. Um yeah, I'm I'm pretty happy with how the whole thing is turning out. So so that's it for now. Um again, thanks to everyone that's watching. I'll probably do a video as I build it up a little bit more and, and I'll and I'll do one on the road if 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 I keep getting um you know if there's a bit of interest in it. So listen, thanks a million. Talk to you later.